Hi, this is Mike Green, Dodgy on the Lightwave forums, and I'm just going to show you how you can use a little known tool to paint surfaces or images onto particular areas of your object. Uh, if we have a look here, I have a, a sphere um, in VPR, and if we have a look at the node edit for that, surface on the sphere, we have three um, standard materials um, plugged into a material mixer which is then plugged into another material mixer and on each of those we've got a weight map so this one's called bone 2 it's just because it was for a bone um, in the sphere um, you don't have to have bones in the sphere this is just weight maps that I've got there already so uh, we've got weight map bone 1 which controls the second material and we've got some images which are plugged into the, both the colour and bump of the um, standard materials and as you can see uh, vertex maps are uh, weight maps are blending between them uh, and then we are going to use this tool the 3D cell weight paint tool uh, if we open it, you can see you have to have OpenGL overlay on um, because it's drawing in OpenGL obviously and that shows you your points of your sphere and where it's red it's 100% weight mapped and where it's black it doesn't have any value on there at all and you can paint using this um, sort of areas on the sphere. And you can see I'm painting in the um, the grass and uh, you can just switch easily between each of the um, weight maps and maybe paint in some more um, stone areas like that. <coughs> now something you'll notice is because this is a subdivided object um, we're getting some very harsh lines along the edges of these surfaces. Now that's because um, this, these weight maps don't have uh, in these black spots they don't have any value at all. Um, now that means there isn't a zero value in there let alone you know 1 to 100 percent. So what you really could do, or what, you, what you should do really first before you paint your map is, is perhaps select um, some of the points. Go to the commands select connected. So you've got all your points selected. Go to the commands um, fill. Where is it? Set value to connected. There we go. So we'll choose a value first of zero and then we'll go uh, set value to selected and that basically fills the entire uh, mesh with zero for bone 2. So if I select clear, clear the selection, you can see now all those points are white and that means that they have a value of zero in them rather than being completely empty at that point. And now if we paint uh, with say uh, 25 or 100 percent you can see that the fall off between one point and a zero point is a lot softer. You don't have that hard edge. So let's go to the bone one and do the same. Select some points, go commands, select connected, and we'll just choose zero again. Set value to selected. Now it's cleared that. And go back to paint. And we'll choose 75 again. you can see that it's a much more smooth effect like that. Uh, so if we clear that selection. So if you want a harsh edge uh, on subdivided objects between where it's painted and where it's not, you can use a selection brush and just select those points where you want the boundary. There we 
we go like that. And go erase. And just paint out the value. And that erases it to zero. Okay. And you can see now you've got your your hard edge back. Like that. Which is pretty cool. Um, if you want to, you can even do the same with displacement maps. So if I open up the object properties panel, uh, edit nodes, uh, add a 3D texture image. Actually, uh, where's the uh, 2D texture image? There we go. Uh, and then we'll use the cliffs image. Now we'll just uh, use the add node spot spot info add node math vector scale. So what we're going to do is use the luma of that to scale the geometric normal of that. If we plug that in there, you can see it's exploded. So we'll just add in a math. Or oh, we'll just copy this one actually. CV. Plug that in. Just turn that down a bit, say to 10%. So now we've got a bit more of a knobbly thing. Uh, if we go into the properties again, and we'll just increase the subdivision. Actually, the subdivision is quite high at the moment anyway. Um, let's do it a bit more anyway. 10. OK, uh, and then deform, edit nodes. We'll use this again. Um, and what we'll do this time is we'll plug that into there, plug that into there, and we'll use a vertex map weight map tool, weight map node, and we'll choose the bone 2, I think it was, and plug that into there. And now, you can see it's just adding in the displacement to that particular area. And if we go to Bone 2, put back the uh, OpenGL overlay on it, and we can do some painting. Let's just uh, so command clear selection so I can paint on all of them. And we'll just paint with the thing with the brush. It's starting to get a bit slow now. You can see it's painting in the uh, displacement on that particular area, which is pretty cool. If I just select some points, go to paint, and you just paint on those selected points. I mean, you can use this with any of the surfacing tools. So what you might want to do is um, perhaps use it with like a color map or something. Something that might render a little bit quicker. Um, or you might have a faster computer. And that gives you basically um, your ability to paint some displacement and uh, weights uh, for surfaces in layout. So there you go. I hope that's been helpful.